Hey guys, and welcome to another file breakdown. Um, this time we've got uh, Justin Geo at sunset looking at a Blackhawk um, from clandestine as Blackhawk shoot. Uh, so we started out with this uh, and then we took it to here. Um, but before I could even get that far, I had to do some composition adjustment. Um, scooching the guys in closer to the helo for 5x4 crop, removing some undesirables from the background. But once we we're good to go on that, so I'm going to start from the top and go down as opposed to the bottom just because I didn't do everything in order and you could kind of see I'm all over the place on this one for the layers. So I've got stuff in here like just hue saturation stuff that's real minor. Um, and I did do a few times taking passes out where I was going and sharpening the detail um, in a lot of places. Um, over here, see these are, let's see. Okay, so these are just lines that I use to try and figure out the direction of the shadow, taking them from the angle here in the pants. I drew it out. Because um, I had to hand paint the shadow, I had to take a few stabs at that. Um, we got some dodging and burning going on, and then we've got my favorite plug-in, Onric, um, for that kind of flare over there. Um, right here, this is just a big orange cone. Um, so if I set to normal, it should show back up. Um, nope, okay, it's buried under files, but basically, um, this was just to kind of give it an orange kick and kind of have it go out there and I masked around the guys. And continuing on, we've just got more contrast stuff with curves and dodging and burning. A lot of these layers are going to be the dust clouds and particles and everything. Um, I don't know why I stacked them up into so many different layers. Um, it's me being sloppy, but this is basically, these are brushes. Um, so if I open up my brushes palette here and I go down to, let's find a good particle one. Let's just do dust. Okay, so these are brushes you can see that um, when you paint on them, it's gonna kind of like jitter the brush and change it every time. Um, and that's what kind of gives it that look. I did some that were white, some that were dark brown, some that were black, just kind of varying it up in there. And the same thing with some like dust clouds. I've got some cloud brushes that do the same sort of jitter effect that you can customize um, under your brush settings over here, uh, scattering and shape dynamics and all that. Uh, sky replacement was done just with Adobe's um, sky removal or sky change filter. Just kind of tossing that in there. Um, got some more contrast and stuff, more particles, nothing too exciting there. Um, let's see, continuing on, more dust. Um, the dust was definitely the most time consuming part just because I painted with such a low opacity brush. Um, so continuing on, so here's the shadows. This was probably what took me the longest to figure out. I, I tried multiple methods, but I eventually just took copies of the guys flipped upside down. So for instance, I would go in and like take a copy of Justin here, select him, and then go in with the brush, let me get off the dust, and then just like fill it with black. And this would be a copy of it, and then I just free transform it and flip it vertical upside down, um, and then start working those, those copies in there. And that's how the shadows were kind of done and then masked out to sort of trail off. Um, just give a little bit more depth. Um, and then, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I've got tucked away back here a Blackhawk um, that I didn't end up using that was in the sky over here. Uh, do I still have it back in here? Nope, okay, I guess not. Well, um, that's it for that file. Uh, it was just like a lot of just the colors and dust brushes, um, a lot of patience painting back and forth.